the deep talk with mr henry we are back again thank you i hope your sunday is amazing for those of you that are watching us on youtube if you have not subscribed simai chodinze they've told us that uh, as soon as they didn't arrive in a chopper they knew the show was done i don't have but of yagwa sagara vile mira konyo but this is this is something a lot of people by the media people mind to fulla nyaba man ah they are friends but to limba just but but was anira kumutwe maybe some people have never had like a talk like this exactly. about the battle after so is, people have not yet got in closure nzinjagala kubuza chino shiba karunji ngo omuntu mkwano kwa cinderella sanyi net Mulo. No, for real, we're not friends. You know, people are saying, I tell Anda, ni mwari muna, this is the show you have. No, it was a battle the entire time. It's a business. You're being paid to do something, you work. That's it. You don't need to be a friend with the person you're working with. No. As yeah. long as we're going to have a, an audience and there's money mm. on the table, we'll work. Because break we, it down a little bit for me. Where, well, where this, does it this rivalry started uh, mm. because when, when she left Obsessions, I was, she approached me. Because she, cause she saw that I was solo, so she needed yeah. some, you know, guidance. Like, how do you do it and all yeah. that. So for like two years, she was like all up in my business, and and I let her see who I am. Came to my home and we went to tour together. You know, like she saw the hustle because I was you like, brought her clothes. Yes, I brought her clothes yeah. because I wanted to teach her the game. I could see her passion, and I was yeah. like, okay, I'll teach you the game. This is how you handle this and this. Start yeah. with her in meetings. Like, there's nothing I didn't show her. Yeah. I show her, I showed her everything. So, and then after two years, of course, she gets this opportunity to work with uh, with uh, the, the management that, sh that she got with Jeff and the team. Oh, yeah. So it was a great opportunity. Mm. So she, she goes into this opportunity. Of course, she becomes busy and no, no mm. issues. You mm. know, she's there, out there doing her thing, mm. out here I'm doing my thing. Mm. And you notice I was making moves particularly not to be in her way. Mm. You know, like with my career and all, I was making moves not to be in her way at all mm. because I was at, at rooting for her. I didn't have to say anything, but inside my heart, I'm like, I don't want to be against her chick. Whatever she's doing, Jagala I tell. I tell. Yes. Mm. So I was doing like nothing to stop her. And she was going and going and going. Amazing. And then, uh, then this, uh, I get an, an interview. Yeah. Like, though, I would sit with you, you mm -hmm. know? And Kazora, Kazora is like, would you, you know, would you be open for a battle, a musical battle with, uh, with her? And I'm like, yeah, you know, mm. that would be, and, and I thought about it in a business sense, oh like, yeah. like mm. that would make business, you know, mm. a musical battle and doing it together. So I'm like, yeah, I'd be open for what? Mm. For a battle. And, and I feel like everything's cool. I didn't even know that would go viral, but mm. I didn't know I didn't. And then her team gets wind of it, like what Cindy talked about a battle. And then they come out and say so much shit about me, you know? Her team. And yeah, her team. And they say Cindy's a dead artist and she's just trying to get, you know, she's trying to get a leverage from her and, and all this. And in my mind, I'm like, who will land there? Like, wait, I trained your girl, you know? And, and I'm waiting for her to say something about it. Because she knew what we went through and all that. And I'm like, you could at least come out and say, you know, oh, I'm not, I'm not for this or whatever. Mm. So the, the team goes blowing me everywhere, you know, and trying to say all these things they said so much oh, yeah. against me. And then she didn't defend it. She didn't deny it nor accept. And that struck a nerve for me. You know, it struck a nerve. And, and you guys know say Maniza Bantu. In fact, the industry says that all the time. It's true. Yeah. So if I let you into my life, it means something. So I let you into my life. I mm. write your first song. I nurture you for two years. And then you hear all this shit about me, and you say absolutely nothing about it. So for me, it hurt, you know, and that was years ago. You know, I'm like, okay, she won't even come and defend me. They won't say nothing at all. Like, how do you just go on TV and say that about me? You know, I've been in this industry for a while. I've done some things. There might be too many for you, but I've done some things. Oh, you know? yeah. Yeah, I've got credentials in this industry. So that, that hurt me. You know, that she didn't, she didn't say nothing. So they kept this rivalry going and going and going. And I do not want it to keep going. Mm. So at a certain point, I'm like, okay, you want to do this? Let's do this. You know, and that is where it came from. Oh, yeah. That's why I cannot tell you that to live a bad day with she and mm. all that and all that. No. As as that, so if she calls, you can't even pick up. No, the, the battle was real. And how I feel is real. It's not something I'm doing for the money or mm. nothing. No. Behavior. Let's talk about the Federation a little bit. Mm -hmm. Apparently, there's money over that you guys have been having meetings. By the way, I don't know if you're a man. This 
Chick can't even catch a break. <laughs> yeah, Kavam Bino, I take a Tibazem Bino. I think I had it yesterday. Sometime, yeah. sometime this week or the other week. Mm. But it's in the Uma Ajitu. But how, how does that? I don't. Uma ni angbo ya bantu. Uma. Eh. No jitunda. Ne, I'm like, wow. Ka. Is that possible? Or you understand? Is it possible to tunda Uma? I can't sell individuals. I don't. That's it's not physically possible to do. So let me. Let's talk about it in this way. Yes. Cindy, a mother, an artist, extremely talented, the king herself. A leader. A leader. Yes. Why are you in Uma? What does it mean to you as a person? Why um, are you the leader after everything they've done to you? Yeah. They've made cocoons against you. Yeah. They've shown you that they don't want you, they don't you believe in you. You know they buried me once. They held like a funeral. You did see that? <laughs> they held a funeral, they sang songs, and they buried me. Yeah, so yeah, continue. <laughs> why, why do you keep being there? Because, you know, once you do something and you see that it's bearing fruit, you can't start paying attention to nonsense which is on the side. No. If you see, like, uh, it's, it's like being a farmer, and you're like, no, get a sack or no, you know, and you plant matoke. And people are like, ah, that farm land, once you see a seed come up, that's it. You're, you're, you understand, you're hooked, and that yeah, is yeah. me. Like, when, when I got into my position as the president, and I started seeing that my, my power is actually changing lives, that was it. It was like an addiction for me. Because I saw that I'm in position to actually make certain things work. Mm. You know, when we have uh, artists like Mary Butter, I mean like, like uh, Serena Butter mm. and, and people like that having a, a case against the, one of the biggest promoters and then Uma comes in the middle and mm. then she can't be arrested. You can't yeah. do nothing to her because yeah. of the power of Uma. And we have lawyers for her and we get her lawyered up and that's it. She goes home and sleeps. Mm. When you do such things, when an artist is running mad and then you get a collaboration with a, with a hospital and he gets free treatment and things that like that yeah. that you do and it's yeah. working out it's like why would i listen to these people on the side people why was i could be sent and i don't know since it is in Naja. i've been in the seat for three years i haven't been paid one day i've never been paid but the, i've seen lives change from my position mm. and because of that i'm like hooked i want to stay because yeah. i'm seeing you know op mm. doors are opening we're having conversations now with mm. the with the ministers we're changing the copyright law and stuff like that for me okay. that is my inspiration now the real thing now happens you have uma Mm -hmm. But then there's a section of guys that don't believe in you. I think C Chameleon and his group, Basso Kanevava, was the name of that group? Superstar. Yes. yes. And then now things hatch, 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 hatch. And then a federation mm -hmm. comes into existence. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is resistance against the king. No, you guys are getting it wrong. Like, okay, when the federation comes up, yeah. you see Kenzo. Forming a federation, yes. what, what comes into your and mind? And he literally yeah. took my whole cabinet, like everybody went. It, I remained with Chiumanga Chang and Zenzeka. Like everyone no, Fina left, like everybody left. The whole executive joined the federation immediately. So do you think they just left like that or there were whispers in the ears? No, they, they had their own... I'm just mm. saying, I'm not saying they said them. You. I hear you. But you know I, what I mean? I do. I do, but then I I don't know which excitement took them to the other side because they came back on their own. Nobody forced them to come back. You understand? I don't know what it was because when when the news came out, it was huge. You mm. know, because you know Eddie Kenz was a big artist, and then Neye Gata Kubana was another artist about Kabi, which is so everyone's a kumlamwa. Goody good, you know. It is this side without thinking, without thinking about it. Now on my side, where I was seated, it was like okay, there's power, and it's like. It's like the wife, the husband, I mean, when the wife leaves and then the husband thinks because the house guard has been cleaning the home, everything. <laughs> she will be the wife. Become the wife. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like, that is the situation I felt like. Like, it's not possible for this house girl to figure it out. Let me come and check her out after two years. And then she can handle being the wife. That's my position. So I felt like, okay, but no guy. Uh, yes, we have the Chikolako. They don't have the expertise, no experience, no leadership skills, nothing. Bona. So I'm like, yes, mm. bona. So I'm like, you know, let's give it time. Give it time for them to understand the industry, which and then we approach them. Gavategeira, chechigenda maso. So for me, that's why I laid back. Oh, it yeah. was not like, oh, I don't like Kenzo, I don't like the team that is working. No, it wasn't that. Oh, yeah. I just reasoned, like, you know, like, that's what you're going to do. Oh, yeah. So, but for them, it was excitement. So everybody left. Do you think, now this is, you, you have your foot there, mm -hmm. yeah? 
the federation has come uma is still there and then there's 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 a force that is pulling both of them mm. do you think the goal that you people are trying to achieve at some point will mm. be attained yes it will be attained now you see with the with the fight with the copyright law we would we started this thing two years ago yeah. and and having the meetings and meetings so the federation came and joined the same uh, conversation though they were louder than us because us when we were moving we we're not telling the whole media and inviting mm. everyone to tell them all oh, we're going for meetings but when they came in they made the situation louder yeah. so the parliament panicked so they they added salt onto the soup that we were already cooking you understand so at the end of the day we both achieved what we what we wanted it was china obviously I don't have an issue. Uh, my only issue is that when they just come out, they, when they just come in, they wanted to own Uma. Mm. Yeah, that was the thing. Like, like, let's take it out of Cindy's hands, put it here. I was like, I cannot hand over something that has built so much into someone who I'm not sure of, that yeah. I can't do. I love Eddie Kenzo, he's my friend. You understand? Like, he's my buddy. But when it comes to leadership and all, that's a whole different thing. You don't thing. trust him as a leader? Either. No, no, because he needs time to become a leader. It's not inborn, you know? You get, you get there, of course, you can have the talent, but you need the skill to make it work. And now he's so much better than he was. So much better than the first meeting that we had. Mm. So I want people to know loud and clear, it's not like we don't want to join the Federation. Yeah. No. But we have terms. We were, we're like, we want to join, but yeah. these are our terms. Oh, yeah. Meet them at least halfway, you know, and then what we'll work together. Terms? I can't tell you. Can you? No. Is it deep talk? This is like confidential it way on information. Video. Okay. <laughs> it's confidential information. Because uh, where, when Banga Ngawano Wembeda, Yenze Minister, Goyagala and joining a say, Komesa. When Zje Komesa and Yasiga Zetchi Wambantu Bangi. Sagara could you wong and Zayos and Maso and Ingeno, Ingeno Zechi? Yeah, so we want Uma to have like uh, some kind of authority. Yeah. To Uma to have like, uh, because we are the biggest association, mm -hmm. we are also the legit one that has all the paperwork to back it up. Oh, yeah. Most of these associations can't. They can't. They can't produce the paperwork. So we have all that. So we've worked really hard to be where we are. Mm. So when we come into um, the federation, mm. we want to come in with a big voice. We don't want to be silenced. We don't want mm. to be belittled. Mm. We don't want that. So we're we like, we just want, want to be a car. No, 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 no. We don't want to ent so enter your house and we are the ones living in the insane. Askari's house. No. If Kenzo says, Cindy Kuja, you're the vice president. You go. Yeah. Ah. Cool. And then they remove her. No, and no, it's not me. As in Uma would have a representative there, but oh. I'll still be the president of Uma. Oh. But I also sit in the federation. Mm. So when there are big issues, we discuss mm. as the federation. Mm. When there are smaller issues, we come as Uma. You know, people keep thinking, like, if you join the federation, Uma is lost. No. Just we need to have some representatives there because the other one does not register uh, individuals. Mm. It registers associations. Mm. Yes. Yeah, yes. So that's all we want. We just want to queen Gilanga Mulima Man Yaga Uma. What are some of the other things you think would have made the Federation idea better? Idea better. I think if be, before they formed their cabinet and all, if they had consulted Katono, it would have helped. Because you know, like when they came in, you see how everybody supported? That was, that was a very good place to say to today at Kolewachiti. But because you're dealing with artists who are established and they're big and the egos are up in the air and all that, the, there was no room for that. That mm. negotiation, that humility, there was no mm. room for that. Yeah. That's why we needed to like give them time. You know, so when you give them time, they get somewhere and be like, eh, the truth is I can't do this on my own. Oh, then yeah. they'll come back when they're humble. Mm. So that is exact, exactly what happened. If that come in humble, this mm. would have been easier. This would have been taken a very... Short time. Short time yeah. Yes. Um, there was an issue between you and uh, okay, it wasn't an issue. It was pressure from from people, the mm -hmm. fans with Saha. You remember? Yes. Ha, Saha, Cindy Aveo. Yeah, man. Oh my God. God help me. I did my <laughs> life. <laughs> so you're there and then Twagala Saha, Twagala Saha. By the way, artist. And Agamazi. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's there's no better way to say it. Yeah, that is the truth. I'm do you do you do you feel it's when you when you say king? Yeah. Do you feel like other artists acknowledge it? To when, start with, when I called myself a king, I did not 
seek their approval. I actually, in the back of my mind, I knew that they're going to complain about it. But it's not about them. Yeah. It's about my career and where I feel like I am. Not, not in comparison to you. I'm not comparing myself to you. Yes. Me, I'm looking at me and my journey and where I am right now. Mm. Right now, I'm a king. Oh, yeah. Not against you. No, just you be you. If you want to be a governor or you want to be Emperor, whatever. Emperor, whatever. Yeah, you be. But mm. here where I am, I'm, I'm the, the king. king yeah. yeah, so I didn't consider them. I didn't consider them. But whatever now was actually. Yeah. No, no. Because even them, when they become queens and all these empresses and stuff, they don't consult me. <laughs> you know, nobody says how was oh, it. Thank you for, bringing, that thank you for bringing that up. I always wanted to know. In your young age, in a kavubuka, a chari munji, when you called yourself king, why didn't you call yourself queen? Because you're a female. Why did you think about queen? Because, because you at called that yourself king or chari. Yeah, you I see. Because at that time we had many queens. Like Bulika artist, I wanted to have a Na kuba yoka hit kama mbwa ina nice video mbwa kuzi ne Sasha, sima kuzi ne Darlington. Gahita queen, sima queen of the dance, sima queen of the stage, bichi. Sasa kati gwe liko gialdem, eh? Eya kajawa no cha unya, you know, it still smell like pampas and susu. And you are calling yourself a queen. I can't be a queen with you. Yeah. Yeah, I can't be a queen with you. So that means if there is no other title above a queen, it's the king. So that automatically, I was like, there's no other thing there. So that is how I say I'm the king. king. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, I have this thing yeah. that it affects me and I'm learning. I want to be... I want to be more social. I'm learning to create relationships, yeah. get more people inside because I am such a private person. Oh, I yeah. don't let people in. So it affected me during the campaigns a lot, a lot. And I was like, oh my God, I really need to start creating uh, relationships. I know my mother tells me, Teddy again, Dokuzika, go down with bank. I'm like, I'll be dead. I won't care. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, I won't care. Mm. But you know, at that moment during mm. the election, I was like, oh my God. Cause, so, because it's not like I'm enemies with artists. I'm just not, I'm not trying. At that time, I wasn't trying to be their friend. And then my, my rival was that friend for them, was like there for them and stuff. Boy, you are boy. You see what I'm saying? So it didn't matter if intellectually is better or is it, no, all that didn't matter. It was like, oh, your blood, your you are face. You know, we've done this whole interview and like, it's like 90% in English. I hear you. There are some people that feel a certain way. When you overflow in English. Overflow yeah. in English. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me tell you my dilemma. Eh? Let me explain myself. First of all, I'm so sorry I speak a lot of English. I would have loved to speak more Luganda. But the first thing is that I'm not a Muganda. And I don't mm. say that in a bad way. Mm. Just that I've not grown up speaking Luganda. Yeah, yeah. And uh, my father is, was a Mnyoro from Masindi. Mm. So because he died when I was two and left me with a mother who is an Itesot, there were no opportunities to speak the language. And yeah. then when he died, our, uh, our father's clan like abandoned us 100%. They were like, you brought a curse into our family. You know how African uh, communities can be? And they blamed my mother for my father's death. So in, the, wow. in that way, they took everything that belonged to dad and everything in the land and the house and everything, like, get out of here. And they chased my mother away plus us. So we didn't get the opportunity to speak the language because yeah. the aunties were not in our lives and oh, all yeah. that. So mommy lives on her own. So that is how I did not speak the language. It was mm. not, it is not, a, um, uh, it's not intentional oh, yeah. for me not to speak it. Actually, recently I've been, I have m messages and I was calling uh, Lucky, Lucky from Capitol. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, teach me some Lunyoro, you know? <laughs> so she's, she's like teaching mm. me small oh, phases yeah. every oh, day. Yeah. And then she mm. but, but that's it. It's oh, not yeah. because in I do it as a, as a way of sounding smarter. Oh, yeah. No, it's just because that I didn't have that influence. Mm. That is how I know Swahili. So we as we're concluding, uh, Sanyu, yes. after how many years in the industry to get from Blue 3? Wow. By the way, is that's from 2005. But you before Blue 3 in 2003, what your competition? Can I yeah, Coca-Cola Coca pop stars. Yeah, we yeah. and, and that's the experience from 2003 to the moment. Can you imagine? I don't want to talk about it. I feel old now. <laughs> I, I can imagine there's a generation of people that don't even understand. 
understand that. <laughs> First of all, the, there's a section of people that don't understand how you left the blue three. I see. But, uh, but, uh, but, uh, but let's not go there. You know why? Because we're, we're planning a concert now. You know, I think we, we just signed our deal recently and we're about to, you know, to bring it out to the open. So we have a concert in June. So I don't want to go there. Out, out, out of all the three sisters, this is some of the questions are going to be painful, but I have to do it. Out of all the sisters, you're the one who's standing out. Mm -hmm. Jackie reaches out once in a while. She replies to some of my statuses. But... Mm -hmm. Lillian, we see a lot of things happening right now. I know you saw what happened recently with the money, rent. Yeah. How, how do you feel? Because mm, Yeah, I, I think things happen to all of us. They happen to all of us. She'll bounce back. Definitely. Yeah, she'll bounce back. But she I need that She's feeling that is inside. That is inside. Inside you. She's a big girl. And I'm talking this from the depth of my heart. She's a big girl and she can handle. She'll be well. Do you reach out to her sometimes? Yeah, are, we do. are you guys friends? For for Blue Three to happen, of course we talk to each other. Oh, of yeah. course we reach oh, out. Yeah. Yes, oh, yeah. and and she's like, I'm handling. I'm struggling a bit, but I'm handling. I so Steve. I know she'll bounce back. Do she'll you hear be from fine. Steve? No. It was not your buddy. No, we meet like in the producing the show. I'm one mm. of the singers. I will sing and say, hey, you know, and that's it. And there's no. You know, there's uh, we can be in offices and the blues three song comes up. Oh, let me see you. <laughs> and then someone comes with a nasty comment. And we're like, bro. Anyhow, the story was everywhere. Steve had nothing to do with it. No. In fact, Steve really wanted blue three to work out. He wanted to. Even when I when I got back here, the first person I called is like, let me talk to the girls. Oh, yeah. He wanted Blue Three to happen. Oh, yeah. No, it wasn't his fault. But let's let those things Ow. go. To be the case. <laughs> to be the case. We have a concert in June, and we're working towards it. Thank you for your time. We have to bounce. Yeah. How, how many more years do you see yourself in this industry? Well, I want to sing till I'm 50, take a break, and then come back again when I'm hey. like 60. <laughs> <laughs> so Guadagnondo, I love the energy. So till you're 50, we still have like um Yeah, it's a quick a break out. You go around, travel around the world and stuff, and then come back, rebrand and come back. You still want to keep doing dance? Yeah, I wanna <laughs> sing. I want you see like how Makeba was? She oh, sang yeah. she was eighty five oh, yeah. and she literally died on stage. That's what I want. That's what I want. It's my passion. I, I love seeing, making people happy, seeing people uh, mm -hmm. listen to music and it changes their lives mm -hmm. and they're crying and they're laughing and, they're, and that for me is like, why would I stop doing that? But with the responsibility that comes now, the school fees, yeah. <laughs> they are now three, right? That's true, yes. And you're going to have, how, how, how many are you looking at? Four. I have three now. I have just one more. Just one, one more. One. Come what on. if you get twins? Awesome. <laughs> that would be great. That would be, my dream has always been four children. All right. I grew up in a family of seven children, but I, I want I want four. Oh yeah. Yes. With the responsibilities growing. Yeah. It gets better with the age. You know why? Oh yeah. Because the children grow, and when they grow, they don't want to they don't want to do anything to do with you. Oh yeah. Yeah. When children get to thirteen, fourteen, or four, they day like go to church. So you have more time for studio. Yes, that is when I'll be like, yeah, that's when I'm like fifty. <laughs> I'm like tell him one and tell one, yeah, but yeah, what could I be away? All right. Yeah, it's dumb. I could dig it up here. With this industry that keeps changing, <laughs> yes. do, do you feel like, you know, you you always catch up? Yeah. Okay, you're talented. Yeah. That I, I would, always know why I catch deny. up yeah. because I accept that we never done could have a day. You know why an artist fails to come back? They refuse to accept. They refuse. They come back with the same old, they are yeah, like an yeah, antique yeah, yeah, on the yeah, stage. Yeah, yeah, you see yeah. what I'm saying? Mm. Like, I come on, I got no style with because you have to know. Babanga, I have to start 1998. Yeah. Nakacha, I know. Start. Start. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, has to be the same thing. You have to look at the industry and accept and brand, and you have to fuse. Choba, choba, dokola, wali, chikate na chino. Then give people a fresh breath of air. Oh, yeah. You know, so my, my uh, dynamic is that, is that my team tells me Cindy David to leave Deco. Oh yeah. And I accept. Oh, yeah. It takes a lot for me to accept. No kiddies. Because as an artist How do you tell that to the king? But it's okay, I'll listen it to you. It takes a while. You oh, know yeah. it takes a while because you know it's hard to accept. What are some of the young kids you see and you feel like they have talent and you would really want to you would work with them. 
If Winnie Noaji stops fighting with her fans, <laughs> she's on her way. You know why? Because she has, she has the talent. And, but she and, fights with her fans. Yeah. If she stops arguing with them and just understands that they are fans, they love you. They want to touch you. They want to... Because they love you. you know? is the one. Yeah. She's going to come back with a nasty comment. Or oh, I, I hope, I hope. I don't care. She has done that several times and I don't care. Um, but I, I, I don't know. For some reason, I just, I look at her career. I'm like, ah, oh, that's the money, you know. Because she, she is, uh, yeah. she, she inspires women who, who haven't had an inspiration. Mm. Everybody says you need an international I knew blah, you blah, blah. were going to yeah. turn that corner. No, there no, no. That, you... that is her ah. power. No, and I'm not saying it in a bad way. That is her power. Nobody else has that power but her. You know, so when she speaks, she's, <laughs> when she speaks her words Madame heavy, Cathy. when she, because of who she represents. <laughs> okay, that's not good. But that's a different style. Catherine, I decided on that. So I know community. Yes, yes. I know this audience. Yabato who are younger, who are chubby, you mm. know, and all that. And the way they look at her, they gain this, you know, they the confidence. This. And yes. there are so many. Ah, and most rich women, that's yeah. how they look. Yeah. They look yeah. like her. So she's on the money. If only she stops, just walk, walk, walk. Oh, walk. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You made your money, you're paid. Ignore the noise, you know. Keep going and stay and stay on it. She's right on the money. Who else? Who else? Yeah, with these new artists, it's hard because we have younger so it's uh, yeah, you know. So me, when I look, I'm looking at a product, a tali wo, you know, mm. a product a tali wo to wali ajirina. That's why I'm like her. Nobody looks like her. Definitely. You know. Yeah. So she has that power. It's like me when I came in. There was Juliana. There was all these people. Now when I came in and I was younger and I was and I was unapologetic. I was not trying to be pretty. Yeah. All that. I yeah. was a fresh breath of air oh, yeah. because everybody was trying to be graceful like Juliana. Yeah. Not perfect and do perfect hair. I didn't care. Mm. I get on stage and I sweat and I dance and I jump. With your short hair. And I get on tables yes. and all that. Yeah. That was new. You know, it mm. was very new. And 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 that is what an artist needs right now. Pick a lane. Pick a lane, put together be in between, uh, put something weird, uh, get, get, uh, get, get Vinka, put her together with Bebe Cool, create a brand market here. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like mm. very different things. Mm. Quata, who's this guy who sings with the guitar? Um, Mugabe. Mary Kenneth, yeah. Quata style here, Mugabe. Or Jigate Neka Midi, or creating a lane market here. That's something people have never seen. Oh, yeah. Blow their mind and oh, you yeah. have your own, oh, yeah. your own lane. You can charge your own prices, go where you mm. want to go. But if you pick Cindy's lane, you have a legacy to fight. You understand? If you pick, it doesn't matter. If you pick uh, uh, Spicy, no quarter lane here, you have a legacy to fight. There's so much to deal with. So I, I look at an artist, I need you to tell him that I'm like, that's the money. That's why it's hard for me to give you a line of many artists. Because I know, I understand. We don't have something original and uh -huh, new. Like yes. Like you what what would you money. say about this, this guy that came out and started giving us do 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 who are you talking about? Aliens King. Aliens King. <laughs> Why are people asking me about Aliens King? No, I'm just, we're talking about lanes, yeah? I am still one of those people who feel like he's not serious. <laughs> <laughs> Cindy. Musa, you are. Ah, it's okay. <laughs> let's, let's, let's. <laughs> Let For some reason, me, I feel like. It's okay, it's he's okay. He's just having fun. It's but you know, serious. you know, that the, for me, when I see his music blowing up that way. Yeah. It shows that while we chituri more industry, people are looking for something. I guess that's the thing is that the rest of us are serious. For him, is not. That is a fresh breath of air. <laughs> Give me a last word. Thank you so much for this incredible interview. I wish we could go on and on and on. <laughs> These are not my last words. I'm very scared of that statement. <laughs> I know, but I know, I know. to close this show, I'd like to appreciate you, Mr. Henry. Thank you. Thank you for creating a show where artists can come and just be themselves. This, yeah. this is beautiful. And, and I hope you go where you, God wants to take you more. Amen. You know about Amen. the sky. Just Amen. past the limit. Past the limit. And then everyone who's watching, thank you for supporting the brand. Cindy, big things are gone. And we just started. Hey, hey, hey. It's the deep talk. The Deep Talk with Mr. Henry.